Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's From Sinner to Saint video, I'll be previewing our Round 5 clash with Carlton that goes ahead tonight at 7.40 at Marvel Stadium, primetime footy, baby. We're back where we belong. Two weeks in a row, we've got the Cats next week. So I'll be going through the preview, going with my predictions, the teams, uh, some key matchups and stuff that I'm looking forward to. So let's get into it. Right, um, changes for both teams coming into this one. Uh, for Carlton, Fisher and Mackay come in for uh, Flip. Flip? Philip? Sam Philip, the debutante from last week, and Jack Silvani. Uh, and we make one forced change with Jaron Geary coming in for the injured Zach Jones. Now, Jones isn't injured per se, erring on the side of caution with his uh, change. Uh, he would have been in if we'd played on Saturday when we were supposed to, but because of the five-day turnaround, uh, it's probably best just to leave him out, and I agree with that. But look, we played quite well without him last week. He didn't play much over the second half against the Tigers, and we still looked quick. We still looked polished and composed. So is he a loss? Yes. Is it the end of the world? No. Uh, in previous years, if we'd lost Jack Stephen or Seb Ross or Jack Steele for a week, it would make a notable difference in the squad, uh, even if we lost them for a half a footy. And with Zach Jones, a very similar player to that stature, uh, he was missed, but he was not game-changing. So I think that that's very positive. Geary comes in. I'm assuming that that means that Hunter Clark will go into the midfield. Uh, if I just go onto the teams here on my iPad, yeah, it says he's on Crips. Obviously, that probably won't be the matchup, but I think that that's the right thing to do is move him into the middle just uh, to develop him a little bit more, see what he's made of. It's a midfield that I think that we definitely should win. Uh, if Ross can play another great tagging role on uh, Cripps, as he did Martin, I think we're in for a really, really good night at the footy. Now, uh, obviously, this game has been changed from Saturday 1.45 at the G to Thursday 7.40 at Marvel. Do I condone the fact that we're now playing at Marvel? No, I don't. I don't think it's fair at all for Carlton to move from their definitive home ground uh, where they would have a, a very good advantage to ours. I think that's completely wrong, but am I happy that it's been moved there? Absolutely. I think that it gives us a big advantage. Obviously, I think we do need to play at the G more. Uh, the more that we play at the G, the less we're scared of it, the more we are um, you know, bound to perform better there in September, providing we make it. I think that playing at the G is very important, and the fact that we only you know get a couple of games there a year. Usually, we play the Hawks at Marvel and um, Carlton at Marvel as well. I think it would have been a good idea to play at the G, but you know we can't help it in this uh, in these uncertain times, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But we move on. I'll go through some matchups now that I think are really going to be pivotal. I think that Dan Butler on Sam Doherty is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, I think that that is going to be a really great matchup, both at the peak of their powers at the moment. Doherty played a blinder last week, and Butler has been in insane form. I wouldn't be surprised if Jonathan Marsh goes to Doherty. Uh, he played a really good run with roll last week. I think a very underrated run with roll last week on Asprey, and he played really well, shut him down. So I wouldn't be surprised if Butler does that. Maybe Geary even drifts up forward and just holds Doherty down. We've got a pretty solid defence uh, that didn't really need him last week, but who knows? Geary could go to Betts as well instead of your Dougal Howards or your Jay Carlisles. I think that, that would probably be a, a better thing with a small on a small than a small on a tall. So... Uh, that would be interesting. Maybe you put um, Carlisle on a Jack Martin or something. Maybe a long on Martin and a Carlisle on McGovern. Uh, I think that that's probably the matchup I would go with. The midfield will be really, battle will be really interesting, uh, obviously. Uh, Walsh, Cripps, uh, I guess Nunes, uh, you could put him in that conversation as well. Uh, Fisher, you could put as well in that combo uh, against uh, Clark, Hill, Ross, Billings, Gresham, Steele. Uh, you know, Cunningham played really well last week, and so did Kerno. Uh, the ruck battle will be really good as well. Marshall and Pitney are probably the two best young ruckmen in the comp at the moment, so I'm really looking forward to that one as well. I think that uh, the standout player for us this week will be Rowan Marshall. I think this is a really good opportunity to see where he is uh, in comparison to Wads. 
I think that Paddy Wright has taken a little bit of the spotlight off him, uh, which is understandable. Um, but I also think that uh, last week he played well, but he, he lost the battle. In the, he didn't get the, the clearances that he needed to to really send us forward. That come off our half-back flank, which I'm not against. I think that's a really good style of play, you know, uh, especially with our half-back flank. They're a very, very fast, running, slick half-back flank line. So I'd like to see Marshall give a lot of taps down to Clark and Billings and Ross and whatever, get it forward that way. I think that that's a really good way to, and it's a quick and efficient way to get scoreboard pressure onto the Blues and I would really like to see that tonight because percentage is going to be everything this year. Usually we have a very low percentage, but this year we're above 100. So that is positive. I would really like to see it keep going up and keep going up because we've got a pretty tough road ahead of us, especially with the uncertain times. We've got the Cats next week. Who knows what happens from then on in. We probably won't be playing in Melbourne, I wouldn't imagine, given the uh, the recent spike in numbers. So that is going to be all important to see how we can how we can adapt to moving to potentially Sydney or Queensland uh, or or the Northern Territory even it's going to be it's going to be not it's not going to be fun that that's for sure um but yeah i think that i think that we win uh onto my prediction now i guess i'll just move on to that yeah bugger the bugger the segue yeah, onto my prediction now uh i think that we we do win i hope that we win by four goals or so comfortable but yet there are still things to work on. I'd hate for this team to get complacent again. Uh, we beat uh, we beat the uh, doggies to within an inch of their life, and then we let it slip against the pies. Picked it up against last picked picked it up again last week, and I would hate for us to lose it again. Uh, we need to be consistent. We need wins on the board. Thirteenth is on eight points, and we are seventh. So this win puts us into the four for the time being, and I really hope that we can stay there as long as we're in the eight. You know, I don't really care, but I think that we need to make sure that we're constantly winning, getting a game above certain teams, especially those between ten and thirteen, because there is nothing worse than being on the same games as eighth, but down by a couple of percent. So I think we need some performance boosting wins, some percentage boosting wins, some confidence boosting wins and this is a game that we should win uh it is a danger game as i well i haven't said but it is uh, it's one that we should win sometimes one that we lose but i think that we're on on the right track hopefully we can get the win and move on to the cats next week so let me know what your prediction is down in the comment section down below hope you enjoyed today's video if you did give us a like and a subscribe as well enjoy tonight's game review coming tomorrow hopefully it'll be all a good review and uh, yeah, I'll see you then. So cheerio, sayonara, and goodbye.